Thank you very much for joining me on this Wednesday on Meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to begin with this. This is Otis, and I believe, going back and forth with you in our comments uh, together, that this is one of our biggest fears. A system that's not a whole lot really blows up into a massive system, and this is what happened, unfortunately, last night. When we were watching this together yesterday, this was a tropical storm. Hurricane Otis then became a hurricane and then became a Category 5 hurricane within a matter of hours. Ran into Acapulco last night. Some of the scenes are just coming out. Of course, diminishing as it moves inland. I want you to know we are thinking of our friends in these zones dealing with this. Uh, the water temperatures were so warm here along the coast in the depth of them warm. We talk about that a lot together. It's really the heat content. How deep is the warm water? And over here, it was super deep. This is uh, was a devastating situation. We are clearly thinking about them uh, throughout the day as we continue to see those scenes coming in. All right, I want to get into something a little bit different. There's going to be a few ifs and maybes. You know, I like to just tell you everything I'm seeing uh, out there, and that's what I want to do, what I'm seeing ahead. Now, there's been some signs, there are some signs that there could be some development right in the Caribbean. That's common for this time of year. Later in the season, we get these old fronts. They can leave some moisture, and there are some signs now, both the European and the American model, that a tropical storm, even potentially a hurricane, could develop, start to develop this weekend into to next week. Now, here's what's going on. There's what's left of Otis. Another area, I'll get into that in a moment. Belize, we've had heavy rain. Honduras as well. I want to cover that. Watching over toward Jamaica. Barbados, thunder and lightning has been around from last night through this morning. And watching Tammy over toward Bermuda. I'm going to dive into all of that. Let me bring you back into the Caribbean and what I'm seeing for the potential of development. Here's the European model. So watching Bermuda, of course, with Tammy. Now, moving forward over time, it's always where we see the build up of moisture that really draws my attention because things could spin up relatively quickly. Now, going out of time, this is by Friday morning. Keeping a close eye on Bermuda, hopefully the heaviest weather with Tammy stays just off to the east, but it's going to be a close call. So again, Friday, Saturday, even Sunday, monitoring that. But look at the extra green here. Here's Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic with these old fronts, and they leave moisture around this time of year. And when you get these areas of moisture, Things can spin up. Extra rain near Trinidad and Tobago, moving back toward Puerto Rico. Lots of green on the map. So again, this is by Friday. And then taking you out in time to the weekend, by Saturday and Sunday, the European model hints at some potential development in here, either sliding off this way or lifting up to the north. It is common for areas that develop in the Caribbean this time of year to lift up to the north because they get tied into fronts. And again, by Saturday, watching the close proximity of Tammy or whatever's left of it to Bermuda. And then you see her going out in time further on the American model. There's another front right there. This is by Monday. The potential of that moisture surging to the north uh, showing signs that there could be a little spin up. So either a spin up here in the Caribbean or if it doesn't develop here, maybe in the Bahamas or off the coast of the uh, southeast U.S., but it definitely has my attention. And then watching these fronts because these are the fronts that draw stuff up to the north or eventually leave some of the leftover rain that could develop. Now, the American model has also been hinting at development, potentially of a tropical storm or a hurricane as we go out in time. So let me take you into that. And again, watching near Bermuda, watching what's left of Tammy, still potentially a hurricane later this week, very close to Bermuda. But look at this. Again, on the American model, here's St. Lucia. You get back toward the DR, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Sabo, Montserrat. Look at all this moisture, even back toward the ABC Islands. So again, my attention zooms right to that. I've been doing this for decades. Anytime I see that moisture building in the Caribbean this time of year, I'm concerned that we do get strengthening. And you see here by Sunday, uh, eastern, central Caribbean, lots of rain even to the north there. Here's the old front there. So again, plenty of moisture where every now and then the American model shows either a tropical storm or a hurricane trying to develop somewhere in here. So this is by the time we get into Monday. So not seeing anything de uh, definitive. So uh, it's not a definite thing. But like we saw with Otis, we know things can spin up very quickly. So and we saw that with Tropical Depression 21 near Nicaragua over the last few days. So again, a lot of moisture is going to form. Please know it has my attention. Please stay alert just in case we get something that develops basically right next to us or on top of us. That's what happens this time of year. We're not looking off the coast of Africa anymore. We're looking right close to home. And look at these water temperatures around Cuba, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica. Right in here, these water temperatures, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. And as I mentioned, 
uh, the depth of the water is very warm. So even as a system develops and tries to churn up water, it doesn't bring up cool water. It brings up more warm water that can allow it to strengthen further. These water temperatures, mid 80s Fahrenheit, 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have been zooming through the list of names this season. We're at Tammy now, and there's actually an unnamed system back in January. So it's been a kind of a very active season to say one of the most active seasons on record. Vince will be the next name on the list and then Whitney. And if we get through these names, there's a secondary list, a supplemental list. We don't go to the Greek alphabet anymore. Uh, it goes to another list of names. So then Adria and Braylon, those would be a couple more of the names as we get to a secondary list of names. So there, here's Bermuda. Look at this. This is Tammy staying a hurricane. Then it loses its tropical characteristics, but I, I believe it'll stay uh, pretty strong. There's a lot of spin with it and it will be very close to Bermuda. I hope just to the east of Bermuda by the time we get into the weekend. Here's Bermuda and the models struggle with the system as it lifts to the north and kind of stalls. More of the models have shifted a little bit more to the east. We'll see together in Bermuda if that trend holds. We're monitoring this carefully. It could bring some heavier rain and gusty winds. If it does just nudge closer, it's going to be a close call Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're in monitor mode in Bermuda. We go through this a lot in Bermuda. We're watching this. Now look at this. I want to get to the, again, this is what's left of Otis. This here, another flare, but Belize Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, even parts of Guatemala in El Salvador. We had some flooding yesterday. We were going back and forth in the comments. Look at this heavy rain right through here. This is going to lead to additional flooding. Most of it's just away from the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, uh, and Haiti, but there's some scattered showers and storms around. I'll dive into that with the uh, forecast. Then as we switch out here, remember a few days ago when we were tracking Tammy and it was very close to Anguilla and Antigua and Barbuda, our attention was also being drawn to kind of a blob off toward the east. Well, some of that moisture is finally feeding in, and that's one of the reasons we have some thunderstorms around Barbados, and we've had that over the last few hours. Now, as far as the rain goes, we're going to be on the edge of some heavy rain. Barbados, we could get a few spots around three inches or 75 millimeters of rain watching St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago. Isolated areas of flooding will be a possibility. Now, showing you what we're seeing here again today, Guatemala, El Salvador, Belize, Honduras, areas of heavier rain, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, scattered showers and storms, Dominican Republic and Haiti. Please watch out for those river crossings. If we get some downpours, those river crossings could uh, give us that very quick rise. And it only takes 12 inches or a foot of water, just about this high of moving water to swipe away, move away a vehicle. We're not talking just about a motorbike, uh, talking about, again, a, a Jeep or something like that or a car. So as we get into Thursday, jumping ahead here, and you can see uh, yourself again, very active Costa Rica up through Belize, Honduras, and there it is. Look at the extra rain. We'll see if this kind of pans out. So Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands. I haven't gone crazy with the rain chance yet, but some of the models even down through St. Lucia, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis showing that higher chance of rain again. We're still dealing with some issues in Guilla. We're dealing with some issues from the rain, of course, we've had the last few days. Uh, Barbuda dealing with still some of the cleanup efforts from Tammy. So I'm going to see if we do get some more rain out of this. Now, in the short term, the heaviest rain near Belize and Honduras, you see right in here, even Nicaragua. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, upwards of uh, four inches or 100, in, uh, 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. We're going to be on the edge of it again uh, just over the next couple days. Uh, Rotan back toward Belize City, get over toward Hopkins. Uh, we could see some of the uh, uh, rainfall upwards of four to six inches of rain or 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. That's going to lead to some areas of flooding, which we already have. This here again, Otis, oh goodness, uh, that is, it was just a frightening system. This here, another spin up back behind it may develop in the Eastern Pacific, so I'll be watching that as well. But Belize for us today, again, rain chance, it's, it's already pretty much there. A high chance of rain, I was highlighting that through Honduras and Nicaragua. Jamaica, scattered showers and storms around a 40 to 50% chance and a 50% chance through the Cayman Islands. So really active period right now. Barbados, we've got it, the rain chance around a 70% chance, not just today, but over the next few days. And even in St. Lucia, our rain chance has been trending up. I talked about earlier this week how the rain chance would be bumping up, and that's what we're seeing, 60 to 70% chance in St. Lucia. Rain chance up to 60% tomorrow and Friday, Trinidad and Tobago. So Port of Spain will get a better chance of rain. Tobago, we have been way too dry. We actually need to get some rain in here. 40 to 50% chance of rain in Grenada, up to a 60% chance on Friday. As we look ahead into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, same thing. 
the trend going up for that rain chance throughout the weekend. Guadalupe, a uh, 50 to 60 percent chance of scattered showers and storms, a uh, 50 to 60 percent chance the next couple days in Dominica, maybe a little higher as we work our way into Friday, even Saturday. Martinique, you see that rain chance getting higher. All of these trends generally going up. About a 40 percent chance in Antigua and Barbuda, but as I showed you, uh, these rain chances may get higher in the northeastern Caribbean. If the American model is really uh, feeling out this rain and it does develop, Antigua and Barbuda, I'm going to up the rain chance. So just a heads up, we could have a higher chance of rain holding on to bed. There's a little uptick on Friday, 50% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat as we get toward Anguilla and St. Bart's. Right now about a 30% chance, but that may go up. I may adjust that depending on how things develop and where they develop. So again, giving to that heads up that we can see that rain chance even higher. Same thing, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. I'll be fine tuning the forecast as we see what tries to develop. Puerto Rico, scattered showers and storms could become a little more widespread. Holding at a 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands, but again, I may up this rain chance uh, depending on how it shakes out. 60% chance today in Haiti, watching the river cross crossings, the elevated chance as well. The Dominican Republic, scattered showers and storms, some of those strong, some areas of flooding. Bermuda, of course, all eyes on what happens with Tammy. We went into that. Yucatan, rain chances going up. Yucatan section of uh, Mexico, 30% chance in the Bahamas the next few days. Scattered showers and storms. There were isolated showers and storms. 40% chance in the Turks and Caicos. And a 40% chance today in Cuba. Around Havana, we could see uh, some scattered showers and storms mainly in the afternoon. And again, over toward Aruba, the rain chance is higher. Again, I've been uh, upping the rain chance. Uh, Curacao, Bonaire, we've had some rain around and it stays unsettled. Costa Rica, widespread rain over the next couple of days, 40% chance in Northern Venezuela. As we get toward Guyana and Suriname, isolated to scattered showers and storms, about a 20% chance in Suriname. So a really active period we're in right now. Caribbean development is possible. So thank you for subscribing, sharing the word about that. The active pattern with those areas of flooding, Tammy getting closer to Bermuda and watching that flooding in Central America. So really busy. And again, we're thinking of our friends that had to deal with an historic system that strengthened so fast, one of the fastest strengthening systems Hurricane Otis that rode, it, rode into uh, Acapulco last night. We're thinking of our friends there. Thank you for joining me. Have a good rest of your day.